back to another session of project scheduling and resource leveling. So now, today, in this session, we are going to start the concept of time cost trade-off steps in time cost trade-off through network diagram and we are going to see an example. So let us begin with the concept of time cost trade-off. See, students, in our construction industry, basically what happens that our aim is to complete the project within the stipulated time and minimum cost. But in a certain situation, we need to pro complete the project as early as possible or before the time or we need to accelerate the project. So, to reduce the duration of the project, we may deploy extra resources and to reduce the reduce the project duration we need to focus on we need to focus on critical duration of the critical activities so to perform critical activities if we apply extra resources then and only then we can reduce the project duration so now when we are trying to accelerate the project by deploying extra resources following things should be considered the first is to what extent a project cost or a project duration can be reduced second is what is the lowest cost at which the project can be reduced to a specific date and what will be the total project time for which the total project cost is lowest so we need to, so this time cost trade off analysis will help you to answer this question. See students, when we are talking about reducing the project cost, pardon me, reducing the project time, there are two ways. One, deploy extra resources and reduce the time. Second, relax the technical specification of the activity. But relaxation of technical activities is not in the contractor's end or client will not allow with the to have to play with the specification so there is only one way that is reducing the time by deploying extra resource and when you when you put extra resource there is an increase in cost so basically time cost trade off is trying to explain that if project is of x day now I want to finish the project in less than X days. So I need to uh, put extra resources. And while I'm putting extra resources, the cost is going to increase. But, but we cannot have the extreme high cost. So that is what X optimum point of cost up to which we can reduce the project. That is what we are trying to find by time cost analysis. Now, as we are discussing about the project cost, there are two kind of estimates being prepared in CPM for each activity. Normal activity, pardon me, normal estimate and crash estimate. In normal estimate, we emphasize, we emphasize more on cost. So in what time, time complete the project with minimum cost. Why? In crash estimate, we focus on time. That in, in minimum time, in minimum time, when we can complete the project and up to what cost is going to be increased. That is our crash estimate. Now, I hope we are clear up to this point. Now, let us see the project cost. Let us understand the project cost. So the project cost can be divided into two types, direct cost and indirect cost. And indirect cost can be further divided into two types, that is overhead charges and outage charges. So let us begin our discussion with direct cost. So the direct cost are the expenses which can be directly applicable or directly associated with the construction activities such as cost of materials, cost of labor, cost of plant and machinery, etc. So these are the direct costs to perform the activity. So normally a project 
has an optimum duration in which it can be completed with the optimal usage of resources and that is known as normal duration of the project. But now, but now as we are discussing that additional resources may be applied so the direct cost is will be increased and that is let us see the graph that when we reduce the when we reduce the uh, duration and deploy the extra resources how direct cost is going to increase so as you can see in the graph that when we reduce the resource when we uh, increase the resources and reduce the time the graph is going backward up, backward and upward so here we are indicating four terminologies normal duration crash duration normal cost crash cost we'll uh, we'll see the definition in the later part of the session so basically what happens in this graph that at an optimum duration there is an optimum cost but when we try to reduce the duration the direct cost is increasing proportionately so that is your optimum point is crash duration that an activity can be reduced up to a certain point that is your crash duration and at that point the cost is known as crash cost all right now let us see the indirect cost so the cost or the expenditure which cannot be allocated to any activity but they can be assigned or they can be assessed as a whole are known as indirect cost such as overhead charges administrative charges supervision charges establishment charges loss in profit loss in revenue etc so these are the some of the indirect cost now let us understand the graphical representation of indirect cost so as you can see over here the indirect cost is linearly proportional to the duration that at the time of increasing of the project duration the indirect cost will increase but now when there is loss in profit due to inability to meet the demand or there is some penalty when a contractor suffers from loss in profit that means loss in profit i am explaining this terminology for an example if you are earning 5 if you are going to earn 5 lakhs rupees but now instead of that you are only going to earn 3 lakhs rupees so your profit is reduced by you you still earn but your profit is been reduced by 2 lakhs so that is loss in profit due to certain reasons or due to penalty so that is known as outage loss here is the representation of outage loss so now with the understanding of direct cost and indirect cost let us prepare the total cost curve so here is the total cost curve and in that you can see points a a1 a2 are for crash then point b b1 b2 are for normal and in between that there is point c which we need to find so i hope we are clear about the fundamental of time cost trade off now let us see the terminologies and the definition which we are going to use for the numericals so we have seen this graph in the direct cost curve so first thing is normal duration so normal duration or the normal time is the standard time which a planner or the estimator would allow for a particular activity then crash time it is the minimum time in which the activity can be completed and that can be done by deploying the extra resources so normal time that is known as tn and crash time that is noted as tc the next is normal cost so the normal cost is the cost associated with the normal time that is known as cn and that is crash cost that the cost associated with the crash time that is known as cc so we have four terminologies normal time tn crash time tc normal cost cn crash cost cc now this curve which we were talking about has slope so that slope is known as cost slope and the formula for the cost slope is crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time 
So CC minus CN upon PN minus PC. That is the formula for cost slope. So I hope we are clear up to this point. Now let us see the process of the cost optimization through network or the steps involved in cost optimization. So the first step is analyze the past data for the normal time and the direct cost and we need to prepare a graph involving the cost time relationship for the various activities. The next, then the next is when we prepare this graph after that we need to find out the cost slope for the various activities and we need to arrange them into ascending order. Now we need to compute the direct cost associated with the normal time for the activities. Then now we need to crash the activities or to be particular now we need to crash the critical activities among that starting with the activities who has least cost slope. Remember this point this is very important for numericals that when we are trying to crash or when we are trying to reduce the project duration we need to start with the critical activities and in critical activities we need to start with the activity which has minimum or least cost slope. Now crash the non-critical or the parallel activities among with the critical activities and reduce the duration and repeat this step number 4 and 5. And at last you will reach at a certain stage when you cannot reduce the project duration. The next step is at every stage of the crashing you need to determine direct cost, indirect cost and the total cost of, of each crashing part and you need to prepare a table represented like this. Then we need to draw the total cost curve and the optimum duration and the optimum cost has been thus found out on the basis of graph. So that is your step by step process to be followed in numerical. If you, if this theory or if this concept is being, uh, is being very difficult for you, just wait till we start a particular numerical. So now let us see a numerical. So the numerical says that a following table gives the idea about the duration and the cost of each activity to be conducted in a network diagram. Also the network has been shown in the figure and the indirect cost associated with the network is 3000 rupees per week. Now we need to find the optimum duration and minimum cost associated with the project. So in the question as you can see a table is given having the columns activity, normal duration, normal cost, crash duration, crash cost. Here activity has been given as the event name such as 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4. Now the normal times are given as 6, 8, 4, 5, 5 and vertically that is into week. Now relevant normal cost, crash duration and crash cost data are given. Here also the network is given. So now let us begin our crashing or cost optimization numerical. So students here the very first step is to draw the network diagram with the forward backward analysis so as we can have the total duration of the project. Once we have got the total duration of the project then we need to prepare the time scaled version of that network diagram. So let us start with forward backward analysis and the network drawing. So as you can see I have done the forward backward analysis. I have highlighted the critical path and as you can see the total duration for the network is 15 weeks. Now let us see the time scale version. 
before we see the time scale version let us recall that what was time scale so in time scale diagram the critical path is represented by a straight line and other activity or non critical activities are represented above or below the critical path so let us prepare that so as you can see the critical path 1 2 2 3 3 4 has been represented on straight line and the activity 1 3 and 2 4 are represented above and the below of that critical line now as you can see over here that 1 3 and 2 4 is having some sham dotted line or dash line what is that that is that is your float how let us come back to the network again so now in the network as you can see from 1 to 3 the direct duration was 8 but in critical 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 total duration is 10 so now let us see the time scale diagram so now if i want to reach 1 to 3 only 8 days are there but officially as per critical path 1 to 3 is 10 So remaining two is your float, and the similar situation is with two four. So I hope we are clear up to this point. Now let us move forward with the second step, that is cost slope table. Let us see that. So here I have represented again the table which was given to us in the question. Now in that table, I will add a column that is of cost slope. Now we know the formula for cost slope. That is crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time. So with this formula, let us calculate the cost slope for each activity. So here is the cost slope for each activity. I hope we are clear up to this point. So students, let us keep this numerical up to. this point we will finish this numerical or we will see entire numerical again in the next session so this is it that was all about in today's session in case of any query or doubt you can always contact me in my mail or my number thank you